Unit 5, Lesson 4, Example Number 5. Solve a right triangle is the act of finding all the measures in a right triangle. So let's practice. Solve the right triangle. Round all the side measures to the nearest tenth and angle measures to the nearest degree. Again, solve the right triangle means find all the measures of all the things in this triangle. And it's a right triangle. Everything is fair game. Pythagorean theorem, special right triangles, um, trigonometry. Let's start first by looking at what we have. We have two pieces of information on this triangle. We're missing one side. That side RS, I've marked it with an X. So let's start by finding X. Looking at this right triangle, definitely looks like I can use some Pythagorean theorem. I have two of the three sides, so a squared plus b squared equals c squared, it is. Remember that the only side that's important to get correct is the hypotenuse, that's c. So a can be x, b can be 6, and the hypotenuse, c, is 9. For a squared plus 6 squared equals 9 squared. We're going to do some simplification. 6 squared is 36, 9 squared is 81. And then I'm going to start solving for x. I need to undo that add 36 first by subtracting 36 from both sides, leaving me with x squared equals 45. Finally, take the square root of both sides because square roots undo square powers. So x equals the square root of 45. Looking back at my directions, I get to round the side measures to the nearest tenth. So I'm just going to throw this one in my calculator to get that the square root of 45 is 6.7. Now that I've gotten all the side lengths, it's time for me to find some angle measures. Fortunately, I only have one angle measure, the 90 degrees, which means one of these needs to be my reference angle, and we're off to trigonometry. So I need to find this measure of angle R, which I've labeled with the Greek letter theta. To find the measure of angle R, here I am setting up Sokotoa to look at my trigonometry. Hmm, I have all three sides, so it really doesn't matter which trig function I use, just whichever one happens to be my favorite today. I think I'm going to use sine. For sine, I'm going to put the sine of theta, which is my variable for angle measure, equals the side opposite over the, side hy over the hypotenuse. All right, opposite theta is the 6, the hypotenuse is the 9, and so the sine of theta equals 6 over 9. Now I have to get to the theta. In order to do that, I need to undo the sine function. I'm going to do that with sine inverse. You see me writing it here as sine to the negative 1. It's not really an exponent negative 1. It's the inverse of the sine function, telling me to undo whatever it is that sine is doing to the angle measure that gives me the fraction of 6 over 9. I'm just going to shove that into my calculator, sine inverse of 6 over 9, and it'll give me the angle measure for the measure of angle R, which turns out to be 42 degrees. Finding the other angle in this triangle, that is the measure of angle T, is as easy as remembering that the acute angles in a right triangle are complementary. That is, they add up to 90 degrees. So the measure of angle T is found by taking 90 and subtracting 42. That gives me 48, and I have solved this right triangle. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in class.